So listen, today I'm going on an adventure, a creek fishing adventure is what we're going on. And I'm going on a creek fishing adventure with the one and only John Dalton. Oh, creek fishing adventures on YouTube. How are you, my friend? How are you doing, man? I'm great. I'm Good. ready to do this. You ready to do this? So uh, here's what we got going on. So I, I brought the PA-14 with me because I'm an idiot. You know me, I got to come out here and I got to bring the PA-14 to fish in. But the problem is you got to get it down uh, this little hill real quick like. Me and John are about to figure out how to get this 14 foot, 150 pound kayak down all those rocks there. So yeah, it's always an adventure with John. That's why his YouTube channel name is Creek Fishing Adventures. Is That's right. It's always an adventure. That's how I do it. I, you know, I can't just take you on a normal fishing trip. No. That's boring. We gotta do something, you yeah. know, crazy with the water being like two foot lower than normally is, yeah. but yeah. it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. Once we get to these holes up here, it's gonna be really cool. So my question is, did you eat your Wheaties this morning? Cause it's gonna take every bit of what we got to get this thing down. I had a muffin, so uh, I don't know. Muffin's good enough. <laughs> Handling kayaks looks like right there. That's good stuff. Woo! Man, I'm excited. We're just stuck on a rock. <laughs> John's already getting off on a bad note, but it's all right. We're gonna get him there. The oh, there we go. Got him. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, look at him. It's a spot. He's freaking running like a mad person too. God bless. Oh, that's a good one, dude. Oh, dude. Yeah. Oh, there's another one with him. Yeah, he's still behind him. Drop down there. Right, right there. He's bigger than him. There you go. I mean, dude, that's fun. And I don't care who you are. Get that out of the kayak with us there. There is nothing more dangerous than a plopper. I mean, nothing. Look at that. God, that is a gorgeous little fish. I mean, just look how gorgeous that fish is, guys. That's the thing about doing these creeks. You know, you're not going to catch giants, but I mean, those fish are just untouched. They're beautiful. It's so freaking awesome. Get out of here, buddy. Thank you, sir, for a good time. Oh. Well, it's like there's nowhere else to get to it. You have to go either walk it or pull a kayak up it. We're going to do some pulling. So this is what Moses felt like when he walked into the Holy Land, huh? I like this. It is flowing with milk and honey, John. Milk and honey. There we go. There we go. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh dude, there's two after it. That's what's fun, man. That's a large mouth. Is it? Yeah, it is. That is a freaking large mouth. Yeah, dude. Come here, get a kayak with me. Wow, man, that's a good large mouth, too. <laughs> dude, that is so much fun. Look at that, guys. That's a good freaking large mouth. Man, that is a ton of fun. Look how fat and pretty that fish is. And that is fun. Awesome sauce. Get out of here, buddy. Thank you for a good time. Let's kind of set the scene for you here as to what you know we're looking for what's going on so me and john are doing a little creek float today but before we actually do the float part of the creek float we're uh, we're gonna make our way up this creek and fish a couple deep pools like you guys see here i started out with this little bitty chopo this little 90 size chopo i think what size that thing is and i've had a ton of success throwing this thing in rivers and creeks and it's, it's just just like that but, come on And just like that, I want to eat it. There we go. There he is. That's that one that missed it. That's a spot. Oh, there's one with him. There's one with him. There's one with him. I ain't got nothing to drop down there either. Come on now. Come on, spot. See this top water. 
Ja. I need to have some, two of something rigged up because I bet you I can double up today. Yeah. Oh man, that was fun. Yeah, come here, buddy. I won't let you fight no more. Come here. <laughs> well, hey, dude. I got the trifecta. Yeah. I got the spot, a small mouth, and a large mouth. There you go, guys. Oh my word. Just look how gorgeous that fish is. I don't care if he ain't big or not. I mean, just look how gorgeous he is. There's nothing prettier in a spot, man. Get out of here, buddy. Oh, gonna jump. Oh, no, he ain't. That's fine, man. Oh my god. That's a big one, dude. That's a freaking giant spot. I mean, that is a absolutely giant spot, John. Like, this may be a four pounder. Oh my god, what a freaking giant spot. Oh my god. Don't come up, don't come up. I barely got you hooked. I know, baby. Oh my God, what a freaking big spot. Don't come up, don't come up. Oh my God. I heard that thing hit back there. It's the biggest spot I've ever caught in my life if I get him in. Come here, buddy. I know. I know. This is why we need the net, John. <laughs> we knew it. Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, my God. What a freaking... That's a mean mouth, dude. Holy cow. Oh, man. Look at that. Ugh. Oh my gosh, that is a absolute unit. <laughs> creek fishing, right there. Hey, dude, creek fishing, son. I made fun of you when we were getting in here. I said, we're going to go catch us an eight pounder. This ain't an eight pounder, but dude, I'm telling you. Yeah, he's at least. We're going to put him on the scale and we're going to find out. I mean, this is seriously, it's the biggest one. Get a good picture of that whenever you. Yeah, absolutely. All right, zeros. Three eleven. Oh, wow. Yeah, I told you it's almost four pounds. Wow. That is awesome, dude. Let me get a picture. Absolutely. Check that out, guys. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Get this awesome girl back. Man, that is so cool. Come on, sweetie. Oh yeah, babe. Thank thank you for a good time, honey. Heck yeah. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. <laughs> dude, that'd be nuts epic. Oh, Lord of mercy. Uh, I, I'm telling you, I've done a lot of fun things, but there's nothing quite like catching a big bass on a freaking topwater. Whoo! Like, huh? Oh, dude! Did you see that explosion? I did not. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Someone's chasing something. Oh, dude. yeah. Come on, buddy. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. My Look at him eating down there. Oh. On? Come on, dude. Let's get down here and capitalize on that. Yeah, I'm going to follow you down that thing again. All right. Come on, big girl. Come on, we got fish to catch. I ain't got time to be screwing around here. <laughs> that was funny. He said, all right, pack it up. We're going to the house. Video's done. That's all we need. There we go. Oh, my gosh, my drag. I got my drag back from that other one. There we go. Okay. I can find him now. That was funny. My drag was backed off from that other one. A little small mouth. Nope. Is that another? Yeah, it's a small one. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> Dude, bowing over. Look at him. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. Look at him. Dude, doubling that freaking rod over. My gosh, this is fun. Well, I'll tell you what, John. I know where we're coming for uh, next kayak tournament. <laughs> yeah, all right. Look at that, guys. Look how pretty that is. Ah, this is fun. 
find areas to go to to catch like like these kind of areas. It just it just if you're trying to find on your own, it just takes several times. Hey John, and finding the right holes and do me a favor. Make sure my drain plugs in this kayak on the left side. It ain't popped out because this kayak is leaning to the left bad. Are you just sitting normal? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, you got something going on. Maybe why you couldn't drag it up over the I don't hear water in it. Eh, I feel tight. I don't know, dude. We're out of the water now. I wonder the water is going. It's weird, it's leaning like you see that thing leaning though? Is that, is that just normal? Something's going on. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, you look like you got something. You must have some water in somehow. Let's oh. check. Oh, wait, it's so low. oh yeah, we got a lot of water. Alright. Okay, I'm sinking. Um yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like we're, I'm going down. Uh, let me get over here on the bank and see what the problem is. Okay, so we got water coming in somewhere, but I don't know where at. Plug still in? Yep. There. Oh, yeah, we got the water flowing. Holy cow. All right. Oh, my. That's a lot. Got a lot in there. John, buddy, ain't no guarantees, is there, son? Uh, that is not no. supposed to look like that. Yeah, you don't want this to happen. Yeah, watch this, look at that. <laughs> Dude, there's like 20 gallons of water in my kayak. So what's happened is that right there is where my wheels go in. And there's like a little seal right here. And that seal has broken loose. And then it's letting water into my kayak. And so... Yeah, we're gonna have to go back to the truck and call it quits for today. <sighs> What'd you do to me, John? What'd you do to me? I didn't think it would break something. I thought maybe uh, it'd just get a little wore down, not, <laughs> not break the kayak. So, uh, hey, come here. Yeah. It's all good, dude. <laughs> <sighs> Still got some water in her, I think. Hey, it's about out. All right, to... ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> All right, we're up, we're up, we're up. Yeah, we're there. All right. Whew. Huh. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, we survived. We survived. Well, my kayak has a hole in it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not what you want when you're doing a river float is for your kayak to have a hole in it. But, big thanks to John, number one, for helping me drain the water out of that thing, yeah. dude. Because by myself, oh my I'd goodness. have been screwed. I'd have probably it, just sunk it up there. It'd have stuck up there. Yeah, I, I mean, there'd have been nothing I could have done about it. I'd have had to come get some help from somebody. So, thank you, John. Also, thank you for inviting me out. We're going to come back. We're going to do this again. We're going to go catch more of those fish. It's just right now, I've got to take the big blue machine here and... Go get a hole patch. So that's what we're going to go figure out the rest of the day. You guys just hold on in this here video because you're about to find out what's going to happen. Because I don't even know what's going to happen. I got to get this kayak loaded up. I got to get going. But go check out John's channel. He makes amazing YouTube videos. He's an amazing YouTuber. I love this dude. And uh, yeah, so we'll see you guys here in a little while. I'll give you an update on what the heck is happening. Well, boys and girls, the, uh, the old Hobie is going to be parked for a little while. Look in about 10 weeks of sitting there parked. So we found the hole. I'll put some pictures up on the screen right now so you guys can check them out. But as you guys can see, there is a small tube that runs through the hole of my kayak that my wheels slide into. And somehow the bottom of that hole has separated from the hole of the kayak and has created a hole for water to flow into. And man, was the water flowing into it. As you guys saw, I ended up emptying about probably 20 gallons of water out of that thing each time that I had to empty it. But that water is just flowing in there. And so we have 
warrantied the kayak. We've put in a warranty claim with the good people over at Hobie, waiting on the warranty claim to come back. Um, the guy over at Frontier Outdoors is actually where I bought my kayak from and who is warrantying it. I've always appreciated their help because they've always been really good to me. Um, he said two to three weeks to hear back on the warranty claim and then another six to eight weeks before I actually get a new hole for my kayak. And that's what Hobie will do is they'll send me a whole brand new hole. Just drop my drive into it and I am good to go. And so it sucks that I probably won't have my Hobie until like September time frame, but it could have been much worse. I could be in a much worse situation than I am now. I've got two other kayaks to fish out of and a boat to fish out of. And honestly, I'm super excited because not only do I have the boat, but I have a brand new new canoe frontier that I won down in Texas when I went and fished that kayak tournament down there. And I am wanting to take this thing and I'm wanting to use it, go creek fishing in it and go have some fun. And so I've got that kayak, to go explore in. I've got my Slayer Max over there to go tournament fish in, and then obviously we've got the boat. And so, despite all the bad that came out of the day with the Hobie and the Hobie having a hole in it, it could have been much worse, and I'm very thankful for today because I got to hang out with my buddy John. I got to catch a giant mean mouth, which was just absolutely awesome, and we got to make some really fun memories and make a video for you guys. So, as always, guys, thank you for watching. Questions or comments, you know where to go leave them. I have a video popping up over my face right now. Go click that video if you enjoyed this one because the longer you stay on YouTube, the better off this channel does. It's like the new thing on YouTube now. Watch a lot of my videos when you come watch my videos because it really does help. But as always, you guys are sweet and thank you for watching.